Paradise TV. I'm Carly Wegner. And I'm Stephanie Summers. We are at the Shell Factory. Mm -hmm. This landmark is celebrating 75 years as one of Southwest Florida's top family entertainment destinations. Oh yeah, but this place is so much more than just these shells. Of course, you can find any kind of shell you could imagine. There's also exquisite jewelry. Visitors can also tour the nature park where you can get up close with more than 350 animals from alligators to a zebra. If that's not enough, there's a year year-round Christmas store, an outdoor fun park, pirates, and a steak and seafood restaurant. We, of course, will be exploring the Shell Factory throughout tonight's show, but for right now, let's go ahead and get things started. In tonight's show, hanging out with Cirque du Soleil, sampling snacks with the Simpsons, building castles with creative kids, and cooling off with a buttery beer treat. The state of Florida is filled with entertainment destinations, just like right here at the Shell Factory. In fact, recently, Carly and I just went to Universal Studios Orlando. We did, we did. And if you haven't been recently, you need to go back. They just opened a new area called Springfield, home to America's favorite animated family. They have a bunch of really cool food options, like the Krusty Burger. They have Duff Beer and the very famous Big Pink Donut. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Welcome to the town of Springfield. Thanks to Universal Studios Orlando, Simpson fans can now officially say Springfield is located in good old Florida. Here you will find everything and everyone from the show, including Jebediah Springfield, Chief Wiggum, and Duffman. And what really make the characters come to life are the places they like to frequent, which are now open to you and me. Places like Duff Brewery and Lard Lad Donuts. But the most popular spot is Moe's Tavern. Mmm, beer. All right, so now in Moe's Tavern, and what's really cool about this place, as some of you already know, I'm expecting, and this is actually a bar where I can actually order a drink. So bartender Mark here is gonna make me a flaming... Flaming Moe. Flaming Moe. Let's see what this is. Ah, yes, a non-alcoholic orange soda with flames. All right, Flaming Mo, thank you, Mark. Hmm, refreshing on a hot day. All right, now that I've quenched my thirst, let's check out the food. The choices seem endless and crazy. You can have your pick ordering from the Krusty Burger, Cletus's Chicken Shack, the Frying Dutchman, or Luigi's Pizza. What on earth did you get here? Uh, the chicken and waffle sandwich. Um, it was the most interesting item on the menu. I gotta say, I was really impressed by it. Mmm, chicken. It's good. It's a really nice, um, really interesting mix of sweet and savory. So I, I was really impressed. Ooh, bacon. What did you get to eat? <laughs> the grilled chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's not bad. There's tater tots. And tater tots, yes. I'm a big fan of tater tots, yes. But I, uh, not nearly as adventuresome as uh, my son's. So. What are you eating over there? It looks a little bit more adventurous than a yeah. chicken sandwich. This is the rib witch. It has collapsed a little bit, but absolutely delicious. And I had to go with the peanut butter and jelly cupcake. Mmm, burger. All right, enough talking about all this delicious food. It's time for me to eat lunch. So I've ordered the crusty burger with curly fries. You need dessert, right? So I've ordered the big pink, look at the size of that donut, and then a Buzz Cola, zero calories. Join me in Springfield, will you? Now, you won't just find jaw-dropping food in Springfield. They also have the Simpsons ride, and they're also opening a new ride very soon, too. It really is the real deal. You almost feel like you're in mm -hmm. the TV show, don't you? You do, you do. <laughs> now it is time for some trivia, sticking with the theme mm -hmm. here, Simpsons trivia. On the show, The Simpsons, which street is Moe's Tavern located on? We'll have the answer a little later in the show. Now, while we were over at Universal, we flew over to the <laughs> Wizarding World of Harry Potter where we tried a cool drink that really puts the mug in muggle. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the wildly popular Butterbeer. <sighs> a cool and frothy mug of sweet, buttery goodness really hits the spot on a hot summer afternoon. Butterbeer is the drink of choice for younger wizards like Harry Potter himself, and folks of all ages flock to the Butterbeer cart for the chance to earn their very own foamy mustache. It's like butterscotch. Tastes like Harry Potter. <laughs> it's good. I love it. This is my third one today. <laughs> 
Unlike the Butterbeer in the Harry Potter movies, the Butterbeer at Universal Theme Park is 100% non-alcoholic. From Butterbeer to giant donuts, what's your favorite theme park snack? Send us an email or post us a picture on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. We spotted some cool treasures already at the Shell Factory. Got an early start to our shopping. Oh, yeah. What'd you guess? This is a conch shell, the Florida conch shell, can be found right here in our beaches. All right, all right. I've got the bumpy starfish. I've never seen one of these Pretty before. Pretty cool, yeah. though. Yeah. See why it's bumpy. Well, <laughs> later on Paradise TV. Kids hit the beach to build castles for a cause. And next, Paradise TV takes a spin with the cast of Cirque du Soleil. But first, here are some of your pictures in paradise, brought to you by the Seminole Casino Immokalee.